Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Good morning. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And uh, we got some pretty big news here. Uh, this is, you know, the news isn't as new as it sounds. Um, th this was a coin that was uh, talked about and uh, released by NGC, uh, the greater of this new error discovery on a Sacagawea dollar out of all things. And I keep telling everybody that the $1 smaller coin denomination uh, has always been uh, one of the least loved, least coveted, least searched, at least everything um, in the in the world of U.S. coins. And um, I think with all of the allure that, that comes with searching half dollars for the silver or searching pennies for some of the big double dies, that the dollar series has been overlooked for quite some time. Uh, as a matter of fact, since the inception, probably of the original sack dollar that came out in 2000. Okay. And the, the Susan B. Anthony wasn't necessarily a, a, a grand hit either. Although that's a very small series in itself that went from 79, 81, and then came back again in 1999 Merely for the reason of the launch of the brand new manganese alloy sack dollar, which we call the gold dollar at that time, still do to this day, and uh, still used on the presidential dollar series. And that's going to be important as we talk about this coin. So the coin that we have here that was reported by NGC is a 2014D Sacagawea $1 that's muled with a presidential reverse. Okay, what's most notable, however, and go ahead and take a look at the image uh, of this tremendous error, but the most notable thing is the grade, AU58. And it's a discovery coin, too. We're going to talk about why that's significant, because for a lot of you hunters out there that have probably ignored uh, dollar rolls and bags, okay, might find some sort of solace in knowing that there are some big heavy hitters to be found in those dollar bags. Okay, this is a great example of that. So what we have here, we have a 2014, and another remarkable thing that I just thought about, it's a Denver out of all, out of all mints. Like you would figure like a Philadelphia mint would be responsible for this type of mint error. But we have a uh, much more modern um, Sacagawea dollar coin offers design. Um, as you can see, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, that That's the look that we've grown accustomed to for uh, for the better part of, what well, I guess the last like seven, eight years. Um, these have the edge lettering, all right? So on the edge of this coin, it does say 2014D, which helps corroborate the, the mintage in which this was created at. But go ahead and take a look at the reverse. It has the presidential dollar reverse. So this coin right here, uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and pan over to the next page. Uh, because here are a few notable key points. I was just going to go ahead and talk about it, but I figured we go ahead and uh, read it together. Uh, so this this particular coin originally intended to have the uh, what they call the native hospitality reverse design. So... Back seven years ago, or somewhere thereabouts, they ditched the old Sac Sacagawea dollar reverse. Uh, maybe it was probably a little bit earlier than that, um, because the presidential dollar series was was uh, widespread then. Um, but these had one year type reverses, and then the, the reverse design would be different every single year, all the way up to currently, uh, right now. Um, there hasn't been a, a, a static reverse design in quite some, some time. So they did these kind of like different reverse designs to show different kind of, um, events or, you know, notable other things, uh, within the, uh, the native American community. Um, but in this particular instance, this one did not have that. It didn't have the native hospitality reverse design. Uh, the coin was discovered in a bank bag of other dollar coins in 2019. Sound familiar? And it's a really recent discovery as well um, that took place about a year and a half ago. Uh, this is the discovery coin. There is only one example known. So for all of you savvy hunters out there, this might be a grand opportunity for you to find something truly rare and quite valuable. 
Uh, mules, uh, by definition, are un- unintended pairings of dyes commonly used on other denominations and designs. Um, so we, we've seen throughout the years various different types of mules. We found a 93 Lincoln that is muled with the reverse design of a Roosevelt dime. We've also seen a Sacagawea mule with the obverse design of a uh, modern statehood quarter with the reverse design of a sack dollar. Um, value to be determined. Okay. However, however, we are going to take a look at some of the other notable mules that we've seen and heard of, uh, reported. I've reported on a few of these, but we're going to take a look at some realized sales straight from heritage auctions. I figured they're the best outlet that showcases and presents a lot of these mule errors, um, over the years. And a lot of the coins are very expensive. There are a few of them that have sold as high as 90 to a hundred thousand dollars. Does this particular example fit within that kind of like, um, very exclusive, um, market value. Okay. We're going to talk about that too. Uh, so what I wanted to do, um, is first let you know that this whole story is on NGC's website, and I believe Coin World even did an article on this coin as well. Feel free to take a look at it, read through it at your leisure. A lot of great stuff. Uh, again, it's a very, like it says, intriguing discovery coin, and that is exactly what it is. And again, there there's no denying that this is a denomination that should no longer be ignored. I mean, we could talk on a long list of various different types of errors and varieties that one can find out of these bags, you know, from, um, you know, if we go all the way back to 2000, we could find the, um, the, the speared or the, uh, the wounded Eagle. Okay. There's a myriad of different die clashes and cuds and chips and errors. Um, we have the mules, we have the missing edge lettering on the presidential dollar series and the more modern Sacagawea native American designs, uh, doubled edge lettering, which, you know, most, most famous on the John Adams, um, dollar coin was also found on a couple other different denominations as well, among a few other things. I mean, the series can be loaded with a ton of errors and varieties. All right. But again, it's a very underlooked, underappreciated denomination when it comes to, um, coin roll hunting, which is normally, the, you know, the, the group or the activity that people like to do is to obtain bank rolls or bank bags from the bank. It sounds pretty redundant, I know. Um, but people search through these for all of these different possibilities. Okay, I think the one thing that really kept people away from heavy hunting of this particular denomination is there's no silver to be found. Okay, people are all wound up about precious metals these days and you know the price has gone up a little bit and that's all people care about um and some would say that there's not nearly enough varieties in the dollar coin series and that is kind of true uh this is a very very modern uh denomination very modern design there's you know outside of some of the notable errors there's really not a whole lot to kind of fall back on but that might change with this discovery all right so um you know, feel free to go ahead and check out the NGC article. It's on their news page on their website, ngc.coin. Um, they are one of the top two or top three, rather, um, third party graders, uh, for coins. You might even throw ICG in the mix, uh, but NGC it's under their news tab. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at how much some of these coins, not specifically the 2014 D mule that you just saw, but some of the other mules have sold in the past. All right. So we're going to go on heritage auctions. We're going to actually take a look at their, um, sold archive listings. So wait for this thing to, uh, go to the next here. Uh, and I believe this is going to be under errors. So we'll go to errors and, um, we'll just go ahead and type mule. Let's see what, what we come out there. Or maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and just match it up by highest price. All right. So, again, the definition of a mule is an unintended pairing of two different dies. Um, 
that are either different denominations, different designs, okay, or maybe a transitional type carryover. All right, so All right. So yeah, you guys know my uh my heritage login. Well, not the password, but Anyways, uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the mules. Uh, first and foremost, we got this one, this gem right here, 1999 Lincoln Cent Obverse die, muled with a Roosevelt dime reverse on a Lincoln Cent plant at graded PCGS Mint State 66. This sold way back in 2006, 15 years ago, for $138,000. In case you're wondering what this looks like, there's the obverse of the coin. Okay, it's got some funny weakness on the edge. And then here's the reverse. Incredibly cool. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a mule. $138,000. So the coins have carry quite a bit of value because of what they are. Now here's another one. This is a very notable one. This is a 2,000 piece sack dollar muled with the statehood Washington quarter obverse. And this one grades PCGS Mint State 66. This one sold in the amount of $88,125. And for your reference, it's got the obverse statehood design, uh, which shows up very small. Uh, all, albeit, these coins are just slightly bigger than a quarter, um, which makes this one absolutely remarkable uh, in appearance. Uh, but this one carries that older uh, eagle design that you would see on the earlier Sacagawea dollars all right so that one eighty eight thousand dollars there's a few of them in here um here's that 93d lincoln cent struck with rev dime reverse die mid-state 65 this one sold back in 2010 in the amount of fifty one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars this might be the last one we talk about oh there's a dreaded dime on nail how i don't know um but this one right here, much like the 99 that we saw previous. There you go. It's just remarkable. You know, 65 red, very pretty coin. Probably found right out of a, uh, a mint bag, I, I would presume. But those are the top three, like, more recent sales of this coin. I know, like, Stax Bowers and a few of the other sites have sold these same mules. As a matter of fact, the Sacagawea mule with the Statehood Quarter obverse, uh, I believe there's 20 examples of that coin. So it's not, I'm not going to say it's particularly unique. It's very rare. The coin that we're talking about, the 2014 that was recently discovered, is unique. It's the only one that exists for now. Um, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about what the possible and potential market value of the um, the coin in question is going to be at. Now, one thing that you'll see, kind of like a, 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 um, a common thread between the three mules that we talked about through on Heritage Auctions, is that they are all incredibly high-graded specimens. Mid-State 65, Mid-State 66. So a lot of, you know, and you've heard this before, a lot of the value uh, when it comes to coinage in general, whether it's U.S. coins, Canadian, any other worldwide minted coin, is that grade, 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 condition plays a huge role in the determining factor of the overall amount of money. Now, okay, so th does grade kind of like take a little bit of a back seat to the actual rarity of the coin? Sometimes it can Keep in mind, it's an AU58. It is circulated for a long time, within the last six years or so. So this coin, <laughs> it mind-boggling to even consider, has passed through many hands. Many, many hands. And it's really hard to gauge how many people have taken the time to look at the coin, flip it over, and know that something is amiss. On there, I, I mean, me personally, may, maybe my old me from like 10, 15 years ago would have overlooked something like that. But now you guys, because of the power of the internet, you can be more made aware that this, there might be a second or third one of this coin that exists. And that's possible. 
Um, so we have quite a range. All right. So we have $138,000, but that was 2006 prices. But the collectibles market is in a quite a boom right now. Um, so these coins are probably still carrying similar values of this, if not maybe a little bit higher. So that's also, and coins were a lot cheaper back in 2013 or six rather. I don't know where I got 2013 from, uh, but 2006 coins were a lot cheaper. Okay. Because it was pre recession age. It was pre precious metals boom, um, of 2009. So the, this coin, I, I would venture to guess was probably if you take into consideration money three years later this would probably be a two hundred thousand dollar coin today's money it would probably still be a 200k plus coin all right so where does the 2014d mule sit in all of this okay keep in mind it is rather unique because there is only one in existence one graded ever um, and the coin looks to be in pretty decent shape. It is a U58. However, it is, it is muled with a different design, uh, dollar coin from the presidential dollar series. So that's probably not as desirable in terms of the type of mule that it could be. I mean, it's understandable that there's a lot of, a uh, lot more interest in a mule where you have two different denomination pairings like a penny with a dime reverse or a quarter obverse and a dollar reverse. This one is simply just a design um, mule. Okay, so you have the Sacagawea obverse and then you have the presidential dollar reverse. Still the same denomination. If I had to guess, we're I, I would say based off of grade, based off of the type of mule that it is, I would expect to see roughly maybe a 10 to 20% value in comparison to some of those other mules um in terms of real money without being too vague and just using percentages i would say somewhere in that 10 to twenty thousand dollar kind of range which is a lot of money and i would not be surprised if this coin sells for a lot more than that is it a six-figure coin probably not only because based on the merits of grade and the type of mule that it is but make no mistake about it, this is certainly a rare coin, an exclusive coin. Um, and I would venture a guess that this is going to open the floodgates for a lot more searching of these dollar coins. Uh, again, this is a coin that possibly could have been spent at Starbucks. Or probably could have been used at a gas station or that vending machine. Vending machines nowadays take the dollar coins. So the, the possibilities can be endless. So you could just sit there and think about where this coin has circulated all of the hands it's passed through uh, and it's passed through quite a few of them for it to have a technical grade of AU58 but anyways I wanted to bring this to your attention go ahead and check out the NGC uh, press release and news piece on their website learn more about the coin uh, go ahead it, all hands on deck last time I checked people banks still had a ton of these dollar coins and they just can't get rid of them fast enough. All right. But now I think, uh, that there is a lot of, um, a lot more interest in this coin after this video and after those news articles, all right, the, the, the news articles will put out a whole bunch of beacons all across the coin roll hunting community and numismatics in general, that this coin exists and there are probably other variants thereof. Don't be surprised that there is, you know, let's just think about it. There could be a presidential dollar um, Grover Cleveland with a Native American reverse. How cool would that be? We know that this one exists. So the possibility is out there that something along those lines can also exist. And I would check every single coin from 2007 onwards. All right. Because that's the start time of the presidential dollar series. There's going to be a lot of overlap for, you know, the different design or the different mule um, mules, the different dies that are being changed out at these respective mints. And then sometimes they can't, they forgot. Okay. That's what, it, that's what happened here. They forgot to take out that, uh, that anvil die with the presidential dollar reverse. And then they probably struck a number of coins with the, uh, the Sacagawea pairing. All right, so how many is made remains to be seen. But I'm willing to bet there that there is probably one other example, if not more. We could all be uh, 
uh, very aware now that this is um, this is a big money coin that exists out there. And much congratulations, although NGC did not disclose the name of the person that discovered this. But many congrats to that individual. Determination is key when it comes to coin roll hunting. And this coin is going to live in infamy as being one of this generation's truly amazing finds. It's insurmountable how important this coin is going to be for the dollar series. Uh, It's really a huge, huge place marker in uh, uh, just the overall grand scheme of things right because you would say that with current technology there's also better quality control with this coin it kind of is the contrary so anyways that's going to go ahead and do it i want to thank you guys for joining in again sean here with blue ridge silverhound thank you guys for all your support truly amazing find don't forget to like share subscribe hit that bell for instant notifications i'm your host again Coinaholics, we are discovering together. And it's this this sort of thing that we are continuously discovering every single day. Why not find your lion share? You guys take care. Have a good day. And I'll see you on the next coin video. Take care.